What's up guys, this is going to be a video review of the MacX Video Converter Pro. Um, this is a uh, video converting software. They have it not only for Mac OS X but for Windows as well. And so I just opened it up here and as you can see this is the interface. Um, this is basically a great video converter. It has many options and I'll just kind of take you through these shortly. So what I'll do is I'll open up a folder that has all my um, movies in it, or my videos rather. YouTube, and here's my previous video. Solid state versus a uh, hard drive. You can go ahead and click the annotation you see now if you're interested in that. But as you can see, I just imported it and imported it very fast. You know, it's about a 10 minute 1080p video, so it is a pretty hefty clip. And it, this converter, uh, converter just handled it really without issues. And as you can see down here, I have a plethora of options. So uh, as you can see, I could convert it to an SD video. Uh, the video resolution is by default 720 by 404, but of course, I could customize that. Uh, custom aspect ratio, custom, pretty much everything. You can um, change the codecs in some cases, and so um, that was just one of the many options, even just for SD. I mean, uh, here's like the different sort of like devices, I guess you can convert it to, and then here's different formats within that device that it can read. So standard definition, you can also do MPEG-4, or AVG or AVC rather, uh, MPEG, WMV, MOV, and even just uh, right to YouTube format. Um, the, the best format, I guess, for YouTube. So now we can go to all sorts of these different apps devices we have the iPhone original 3G 3GS even the iPhone 4 has all the different iPhone models and of course this also works for the iPod touch as well so I mean if you don't see it there it's because this is the screen size it's the same uh, you can do H.264 or an MPEG 4 both great with the iPhone import right into iTunes and everything like that um, like I said with this you can even customize the resolution but the, the default should be fine unless you're a really like high definition on the go junkie uh, Apple TV, you can stream it right to there. Even if you still use iDVD, you can make it a nice uh, MPEG-4 format that'll import right in there, take up a little less space for you. You can convert movies right to an iMovie format, so it's easier to edit with. Um, I'm not sure if this will work with Final Cut. I mean, it's an MOV, so it, it would work, obviously, but I don't know if, if there's like, a format difference. And you can also have it go right into iTunes. So now moving on here, we have um, HD video, all these different formats. Uh, mobile, there's a whole plethora of different devices, you know, Nokia's mostly, and there's all these different other ones, PDA. Um, these are just kind of standard MPEG-4, as you can see, like 640x480, H.264, MPEG-4, so it's just different dimensions and uh, different codecs. You can also go to Sony, this would be great for the PSP, PS3, as you can see, uh, there's PSP, PS3, and then PS3 HD, so there's 1280x720 or full 1080p, which is great. Uh, Microsoft, you can go to Xbox, Xbox 360, Zoom, uh, DVD, you can even convert this to a VOB format, and so the, from there you could use an application like Toast, or you could even use the DVD burning software from right from the same people that make this, so there's a link in the description to these people's website if you want to go ahead and check them out. And you can also convert it to just, you know, um, music, just a standard MPEG-3, just extract the audio, basically. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to convert this to an uh, HD video, we'll say a high-def MPEG-4, and you can change your output folder. So right now, I'll just have it go to the desktop. And uh, one thing that about this application is that wherever you tell to, it adds a folder. I mean, you can't change it. You can't just come in here and delete it. It won't let you. So no matter where you export, you're going to have an HD MPEG-4, HD, AVI, whatever you convert it to, it's going to be in a folder there. So it'll be, it'll create a folder on my desktop once I hit start. So as you can see here, um, my eight cores, this is a multi-threaded application, which is great. There's also a lot more options down here, such as de-interlacings. Like if you have those little lines across your movie, you want to get rid of those, and that, that could probably do you wonders. Uh, High-quality engine, AV sync. So there's just many different options. So I'm just going to go ahead, and I'll click start. And you guys can see my CPU rev up. So right now we're converting at about 50 frames per second, and now look at my CPU usage. So this is a very fast video converter, it does work very well. And so, you know, this really won't take all that long considering what it's converting, because it's using all of my cores, which is great. So I'm not too far into converting it here, just a few seconds later, but uh, this gives you a better idea of, you know, how much of my computer it is using. It's using, out of 800, it's using 700% of my machine, 100% per core. So it is using the vast majority of my system to get this video done, which is great. But I'm just going to go ahead and stop that. And um, as you can see up in the interface, there's more options. Like you can just add a file instead of dragging one in. You can even download YouTube videos with this. This is pretty cool. 
and you, you could just paste the URL of a bit of YouTube video there and it'll download it for you, which is very cool. Uh, remove clear option, check for new version, and stuff like that. This takes you to their website, so macxdvd.com. Uh, like I said, this link will be in the description, so go ahead and check out their products. And I'll also be having a giveaway on this uh, coming up very soon. It's probably going to be my next video, so keep your eyes out for that. So uh, just at the end of the day, this is a great video converter. It is $50, uh, but with my giveaway, you could probably get it for free. So uh, like I said, I'll have more details on that. That's pretty much it for this video. I highly recommend it, this video converter. Um, I've been looking for a video converter for a long time that's um, hyper-thread compatible, with, you know, that uses multiple cores, so it just chugs it along, gets it done a lot faster. So um, if, you, if you're into videos, you know, editing, getting stuff down to the smallest file size possible, you definitely want to check out this video converter because it does do a great job. So uh, with that said, I'm at CPU Kid on Twitter, and like I said, stay tuned for my giveaway video. I'll be having all the details on that. And uh, just in case you're wondering, this giveaway will be cross-platform, so if you're on Windows, you're not excluded from this giveaway. So with that said, thanks for watching.